In this problem, we have to construct a confidence interval estimate for a population mean. So if they give us the population standard deviation somewhere in the problem, we will, we will use z. If they don't give it to us, we'll use t. So let's read the question and see if they give it to us. A food safety guideline is that the mercury in fish should be below one part per million. Listed below are the amounts of mercury found in tuna sampled at different stores in a major city. Construct a 95% confidence interval estimate of the mean amount of mercury in the population. Okay, so it looks like they don't give us the population standard deviation, so we're going to use T. So we click this little box here, and we click Open in Stat Crunch. And then we go to Stat, T, one sample. And we're going to use with data, because they ha we have all the actual data. If they give us like the sample size and the sample mean and the standard deviation, then we use with summary. But they're just giving us the numbers, so we use with data. We have to select the data, so you have to click here where it says mercury, because that's the name of the column. Okay, and it's a confidence interval. Oh, I forgot to look at the confidence level, or I forgot. Let's see, it's 95%. Okay, 95%. So everything looks good. You just click compute, and that's it. Those are the answers, the lower limit and the upper limit. I want three decimals. I'm going to go ahead and write it down. Um, so let's see, three decimals, so parentheses point three five three and 1.082. Okay. All right. So let's enter the answer. So 0 0.353, 1.082. All right. Check answer. Does it appear that there is too much mercury in tuna sushi? Okay. So before we look at the choices, because uh, remember, three of these choices are wrong, let's go back and see what it's talking about. So it says here, uh, a food safety guideline is that mercury should be below 1. So it should be below 1. However, we're saying with 95% confidence, the mean amount of mercury in this population is between these two numbers. So in, in particular, it could be bigger than 1, right? Because this number here, 1.082, this number is bigger than 1, right? So the mean could be between these numbers, and it could be bigger than 1. So it could be. So it could be bad uh, to eat sushi in this case. Uh, so I think it's going to be this one here. Yes. It's one of the yeses because it is possible that the mean is greater than one. Yep. That's it right there. At least one of the – also, yes, another, another good comment here. At least one of the sample values exceed one. So, yeah, this one here, 1.34, that's bad. Right, that's too much uh, mercury in that case. So at least some of the fish have too much mercury. Yes. So two reasons. One of the sample data uh, is over one. Also, the mean could be bigger than one because it lies between these two numbers. So C is definitely the correct answer. Let's go with it. And that's it. I hope this video helps.